Hey, what's going on, all you fantastic, amazing people and fellow Fallout fans? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're talking about a new Fallout 76 update for Nuclear Winter, which is going to bring some pretty interesting stuff to this game mode. So that being said, let's go ahead and, uh, well, get straight into it. Now, this article comes to us by way of Bethesda.net. It was published on October 22nd, 2019. If you want to read it for yourself, link is down in the description below. The article is titled and starts off by saying, Zach's transmission, fall festivities, and other treats arriving in nuclear winter. We've received another transmission incoming from Vault 51. Zax has observed your fall festivities and is intrigued. Check out the latest tricks and treats coming to nuclear winter this week. And then the article goes on to say, Salutation Overseer Candidate, insert name, ongoing observations of the region surrounding Vault 51 indicate that a seasonal shift is underway in Appalachia. I understand that the shortening daylight hours and decreased animal activity I have observed indicate the start of autumn. Data suggests that during the season, humans consume a variety of fattening foods and participate in an increased number of social gatherings. I hope you haven't made any such plans yourself, neither camaraderie with your fellow candidates nor a decrease in your physical fitness will better your chances of becoming overseer. And then we're greeted by this nice little photo here. Now, there's a couple of interesting things to break down here. One, if you look at the left candid character or the character on the left hand side and you look at their armor it has a jack-o-lantern design actually imprinted on it and the armor is orange so something different than we've ever seen before i'm not sure if this is a skin and cosmetic coming to the atomic shop or if it will even be available for adventure mode or it's strictly going to be something that's available in nuclear winter we'll just have to wait and see but it's pretty cool nonetheless and i hope it's available in adventure Going on, if you look at the character on the right hand side, you could tell that is the skull outfit, but it genuinely looks like it's glowing in this photo, which is really strange. It looks like it kind of has that green glow effect like you would see in real glow in the dark items, and I think that is really cool as well. So that's something to be on the lookout for. I don't see anything else in this photo to break down. Uh, so if you do catch something, definitely be, leave it down in the comment section below for everybody else to see as well. Going on, the article says, Analysts of recent data suggest that my testing protocol still needs some adjustment to make the overseer selection process as efficient as possible. Currently, some candidates are struggling to identify which among the weapons I have provided for testing will serve them best in combat. To help mitigate any confusion, I will soon be providing candidates with more information regarding the weapons in their inventories. A simple color-coded system based on weapons, rarity, and effectiveness should help even the most unintelligent candidates select the best tools <laughs> for use in the elimination of their peers. Now, the reason why I'm laughing is because I actually seen a Reddit post earlier today uh, somebody saying, how do we know which guns are the best? And well, <laughs> this pose kind of says they're going to use a color coordinated system. And it shows us a little example of that by this photo here. So from what I could break down, the simple lowest tire gear is going to be stuff in green. And the automatic assault rifle, I'm assuming that's the uh, handmade, if you will, or the AK. Uh, that is in blue, and obviously a top tire weapon, being the 50 cal machine gun, is in purple. Now, I, these are the only weapons that we know of so far, and their color coordination, so we'll have to see and wait what the other ones will be. I'm pretty sure things like the scope lever action, or anything that you find in the large crates is going to be purple, anything that you find in the medium crates is going to be blue, and anything that you find in the small crates is going to be green. I hope they introduce this system to adventure because it would be really nice to kind of uh, have that in my honest opinion when you look into your inventory so you can see which weapons you know are good and decent and which are not so good and decent. Also I think it would be really nice for adventure mode because I've seen a few uh, little things out there on forums and reddit about people getting ripped off especially new players and with Fallout 76 about to get a lot of new content that probably means a lot of new players. And I would hate for any of them to get scammed. So a color coordinated system would be really nice for adventure mode as well. Going on, it talks about in addition to weapon rarity and effectiveness, you will also be able to utilize your user interface to learn information about any cams, bobbleheads, mutations, 
or other active effects that may be influencing their testing session. Consider it a reminder from vault that you are special despite your continually mediocre performance. I will be monitoring candidate behavior both inside and outside of Vault 51 throughout autumn. Analysts of historical records indicates that certain human holidays celebrated around this time were accompanied by a good deal of mischief. Please be advised that disruptive behavior of this sort outside of testing is unacceptable and will be swiftly put to an end by whatever means I see fit. Analyzing, identifying seasonally appropriate salutation, success, seasonally appropriate salutation identified, trick, treat, zacks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to get a few little changes to nuclear winter here, which in my opinion is really nice. Let me know what you guys think about this all in the comment section down below. Anyways, I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here in the next one. But until then, remember to stay freaky and well, bye bye.